Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul Yester here, and uh, today's Thursday, so there was a dev stream today. So I want to talk about that, and we're going to go over what the prevailing new killer theory is for the new chapter, a lullaby for the dark. But first, I want to, what, gosh, it was like a week ago when I was thanking all, all of you lovely people out there for uh, subscribing to my channel, and we hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone, and here we are a week later and it's like 1250 already which is just crazy um, I'm doing this for fun and I'm glad that you guys enjoy it and are coming along on the ride with me so um, I can't thank you enough for everybody who puts eyeballs on their channels every day every week um, I know everybody has a lot going on and their time is precious and for you to take some of that time and spend it with me it means a lot to me and I just want to thank all of you for that and uh, I also want to give recognition to one of my subscribers in particular who goes by the name Nero. Um, I had given Nero anonymity before, but they said it was okay to reveal that they were the one who had given me gifts for um, the 1K milestone. Nero gave me the original Dweird with the completely bald head and black glasses. This was the ultra rare PAX reward that they gave away last year, I believe. And uh, included with the Dweird, we had the Sharp Mustache Man Jake. Those two were tied together, which is similar to um, the birthday, the game anniversary one that we were given, the old man Jake for the one year anniversary of the game, but he's just got the dark hair. Sharp Mustache Man Jake that came with the Dweird. And then to top all of that off, Nero also gave me the original Chuckles Mask. This ultra rare Chuckles Mask, which again is different from the Iron Chuckles that we were given for the anniversary event. It's different in color. The Iron Chuckles is more white. This is uh, more of um, an ivory or a rusty white color. Anyway, I can't thank Nero enough for doing that. Nero didn't have to do that. These these codes are hard to come by, and a lot of people who try and win them in contests end up selling them on eBay, and you know they don't go for small change. So for Nero to do that, it says a lot about who they are as a person. They Rather than benefit themselves, that they would reach out and give that to me because they knew that I would appreciate having these skins. And thanks to you, Nero. I, I just, I can't thank you enough. And like I said, Nero, you're the first one in line on my tab for the charity case. As a thank you, I want to spread the love. I'm going to buy Nero the charity case DLC when it comes out. I believe it's going to be August. And I also want to give back to all of you subscribers as well. So um, when the charity case comes out, I will be holding a raffle. I'll have a video up for it where you guys can... Um, comment on the video and we'll do that thing with the random YouTube comment picker to see who will get a charity case DLC bought for them. Not this video, but in the future there will be a video with the specifics about the raffle. Once we know more about when it's coming out, then uh, I can do another video with the details about that. Okay, so on to the dev stream for today. What have I got for you? I made some notes, and I'll. See, I don't know what. What should I talk about here first? And move this over. All right. So, um, my notes here. Okay. So it sounds like everything's going to start coming out in August, from what I gathered. They talked about the things that are coming out are going to be the new chapter which we know has been named and is called the Lullaby for the Dark. And then uh, I had thought the charity case was going to come out first, but it looks like the, the chapter will come out and then the charity case. The charity case, as you probably know, is uh, over 20 skins. A lot of them are streamer exclusives. So those are going to be sold, sold in a package over 20 different skins for killers and survivors alike and all of the money is going to go to charity um, the behavior and the streamers aren't going to make a dime for it all the money is going to go to a charity which I believe is a mental health charity so um, 
it's going to be for a good cause so i would encourage all of you out there to buy it if you don't win it from me in the contest upcoming because i i think i believe in the charity so i thought that that would be a good way to give back to all of you would be to put my money where my mouth is and buy extra copies of the charity case to give out to you guys so watch for that in the future and then after that they're going to have the doctor cube which is a reworking of the doctor which i didn't really think he needed reworking until i saw, saw the statistics for today and then the implementation of a soft ban system for probably players who are harassing or racist or who knows what but there's going to be a soft ban so that you'll get like a timeout for a couple of days if somebody finds that you're doing something wrong in the game hopefully that's not going to happen to any of us because we're all good players we're good people and we're all going to treat each other with respect and fairly right okay so that shouldn't come into play for any of us right so um one thing on the dev stream um stephen horvath the game designer sat in today and they talked about how halloween is coming to console in august and they also mentioned that the new chapter a lullaby for the dark is going to be coming to console fairly quickly after it is released on pc they want to line up the code and get both versions of the game as close as they can be this will be the closest that they will be once halloween and lullaby for the dark is out and uh they talked about the victory cube i didn't realize that the victory cube isn't implemented on console yet they still go by do i have an image for the victory cube on here i don't know if i do um no i don't think i do i think i got rid of that one uh victory cube are the conditions to win for the killer to pip that they don't go by points on the pc version of the game but apparently they still go by points on console they've switched it over on pc you get your pip points by sacrificing survivors that's how you pip up not by blood points in the game you get your victory points towards pipping by sacrificing survivors so that's coming out to you guys so one thing that they said was um that the victory cube is coming out with lullaby for the dark so when they talked about halloween coming to console then stephen horvath said and they're getting the victory cube and then matthew said no no that's not coming with halloween and he goes well practically so that made me think that lullaby for the dark is coming out quite close to the halloween release date i think they're probably going to both come out in august which is exciting so I was hoping that we would see the new chapter before September. It sounds like we might see everything before the end of August, which would be very exciting. And then, okay, so they showed, they talked about the Doctor Cube with the reworking of the Doctor to make him more powerful, so, which I didn't think he needed. But then they showed us these statistics here. So, okay, this is the statistics for killers so on the left hand side you see all 30 perks that are available to the killer um the ones in the ones in blue i believe are common for everyone and the greens are teachables so this shows you which ones are being used the most with iron grasp being at the top the most used perk seven percent of the time iron grasp is in somebody's perk slots with lightborn being the least used strider tinkerer and lightborn are the three least used and then on the right hand side it says this week's most top used combo was brutal strength agitation deer stalker and iron grasp with 347 unique users out of 16,000 using that combo and then here also on the right you see um let's see the most used killer in the game is trapper 32% of the time you're going to face a trapper while hag is only used 7% of the time now these include consoles so um, for example Michael isn't out yet on console so um, they said that console users don't make up half of the population of users but 
more people have played on PC than on console. But since the, you know, Michael the Shape, Michael Myers isn't out, then that's definitely affecting his statistics. All right, so then um, below that you see it says the killer for the four kill rate. The most lethal killer is the hag. 31% of the time she gets four kills. While the doctor is the weakest in that regard, the doctor only gets four kills 23.6% of the time. And then below that you see uh, for the killers, it says Michael Myers. Well, for how many times that a, ki a killer doesn't have any kills, Michael Myers always kills someone? That doesn't seem like that could be right. There must be someone out there. I mean, I know these are rounded, but there, there isn't like one, not even 1% 1 of Michael Myers out there aren't finding somebody to kill. Like they're, they're always killing at least one person. This, they're just never getting blown out. I don't know. And then the doctor, 12% of the time, the doctor doesn't kill anybody. So maybe the doctor does need a buff if that's the case. I don't know. Anyway, I thought these statistics were interesting to show you um, what are the most popular perks being run versus the least popular. You may find some use in that if you want to change your own um, killer style. And then they give us the same thing for the survivor perks. So we got that here. And then this shows you, um, again, top to bottom, the most used survivor perk down to the least used survivor perk. I was actually surprised that balance landing is the least used perk. So we have 1 to 38. And again, the ones in blue are the commons and the greens are the teachable. So self-care, you can see is an important one to unlock as a teachable ding ding paul you need to do that you need to play claudette and get that one unlocked because self-care is a very valuable perk that i don't have for anybody but claudette in my group characters and um then on the right here it shows you the most popular combo is botany knowledge empathy self-care and spine chill which 736 unique users out of the 31,000. So these statistics are for the last seven days, by the way. So we had 31,000 unique players play the game over the last seven days. And 736 of them use this combo, which was the most common combo out there. And then you can see below that, it talks about which survivors are used the most. Claudette is the most popular survivor used 29% of the time all the way down to Lori's only use 2% of the time. So again, console users don't have her available to them, but even if they did, it wouldn't even double because console users don't make up half of the population of the game. So Lori wouldn't even be at 4% were she available. Same thing with Bill, you can't get Bill on console. So that's why his numbers would be down so Claudette and Meg are the top two superstars in the game. Girl power, fight like a girl. Get out there and kick some butt, ladies. Claudette and Meg are the ones getting it done out there in the game. Anyway, I thought that was interesting, the statistics that they gave us. And one thing that they talked about, they talked about when the new chapter is out, that the perks, the number of perks available are going to jump by six. So... I thought that was interesting because normally there's only three unique perks for a new survivor introduced. So does that mean there's going to be three more common perks introduced into the game? Or are we going to get two new survivors and they're each going to have three unique perks? I don't know. We'll have to see. But they talked about an additional six perks coming to the game for Survivor. So I thought... That was an eye-opening statement. Hopefully they were accurate with that information and it wasn't like a, a mistake in what they said. All right, so that's done. Um, talked about the chapter. What else have I got for you here? My little cheat sheet notes. I think that's it. So one thing that they did say is they said there was no teaser for the chapter today and they said we can't for reasons. So that made me wonder if it was a licensed killer because... It would be a legality thing. They said we can't for reasons like they were bound legally. I, up to this point, I really didn't have any indication that the survivor could be a licensed character. 
But then, boom, the prevailing theory that came out of the woodwork today is that the new killer is a movie tie-in. I don't really believe this. One of the things that they also said is that they said that there are like 10 theories out there that are hilarious and very wrong. They said not one of the theories out there, the prevailing theories out there, are anywhere close, which is amazing i guess that you know we don't know what it is and they've done their job with the silhouette and, and tricking us again so let's go through the information that we know we know that the new chapter is called lullaby for the dark and we know that the new killer silhouette looks like this where is it that's the silhouette of the new killer and we've seen the new hook Looks like this with these pelts draped all over it. This is the the artist interpretation for the new hook for the new killer here. And we've been given this picture of the map in the game, which is foresty. It's about all we know. And they, they said, what is your most, what is your favorite theory that's wrong? And they said Anubis, Anubis. So it's definitely not Anubis. We know that. Um, I guess it's not Bunny Man either, or, <laughs> or which I didn't think it was, or uh, they don't watch my videos. <laughs> um, so the, here's I'll give hit you with this theory today. So the theory today is that it's a movie licensed tie-in, but somebody said, well, why would it be free if it's a licensed tie-in? We should have to pay for it because it's a licensed property. The movie studio wouldn't give that away. Or would they? If they wanted to promote the film, if it wasn't necessarily going to be a big budget film, they might green light, we'll give this to you for free to help promote our movie and give the license to their character, which is possible. So, um, so the new theory is that the killer is called the Jackal. And this, there's a movie called jackals that's coming out september 1st which does kind of line up with what we believe to be the around the release time of this chapter i could see it coming out the chapter coming out before the movie comes out september the first to help promote it because that would be the whole entire idea would be to promote the movie so we have the ears we have the hatchet which looks you know similar to the um the new killer silhouette here i don't know so much about the feet like let me show it to you um and we'll turn jackal off all right so this killer definitely looks barefoot to me it looks barefoot like the wraith i don't really see any boots there this looks like they have boots i don't know do you see it the hatchet i can see because there's a hatchet on the side of the silhouette here on uh the killer's right there's looks like there's a hatchet attached to the side i don't see it maybe i'm wrong i don't think that that's what it is what do you think i'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to watch the trailer for the movie um i don't really think that there's anything in the trailer that i'm not showing you here that would make that you go oh the connection the house the house in the movie doesn't particularly look like the house that we are seeing here so i don't really make that connection especially with the long descending staircase on the left hand side of um, the picture so i don't really see the connection maybe it is maybe this you know they've taken some artistic license with the product but people seem pretty set that this is what it is that it's the jackal I don't know. So in the premise of this movie, once you watch the trailer, you're going to see that these jackals, what they want to do is they want to kidnap newborns. And the only other connection that you could possibly have is, well, lullaby. You sing you sing uh, a lullaby to a baby to go to sleep. And a lullaby for the dark. You want the baby to go to bed at night. The jackal comes at night to try and steal the baby. And then we were given one word as a hint, which was mother. So the mother wants to obviously protect the baby from the jackal. She doesn't want the jackal to get her baby. So I don't think there's going to be a baby in the game because 
video games are very, very leery about putting children in harm's way in games. So, like, all of the survivors are adults. Say what you want about their teenagers, whatever. Every survivor is of age an adult. They don't want any smack of violence against children in a video game because it's just not a good practice. So, there isn't going to be a baby. It's not going to be some baby you have to run around and rescue and escape with it. It's not happening. They're not going to have a killer that's going to get a baby. It just isn't going to happen. So, you could potentially have a jackal and a mother with no baby in this scenario. I can see that. But, um, I don't know. Then what? what is the jackal there for if there's no baby to be had? Because in the premise of the movie, the jackals want the babies. So, I don't think that this is it. But this is the theory of the week. So uh, make of it what you will. And um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I mean, uh, should we go back to Bunny Man? Where's my Bunny Man pictures? Oh, I don't guess I, I guess I don't have Bunny Man on here. <laughs> I don't think it's Bunny Man either. So the good news I have is that whatever it is, it's probably coming out in August. I hope it's in August. I want to see everything in August. I want to see... And the earlier in August, the better. Give me the lullaby. Give me the charity case. And I guess give me the Dr. Cube, which I wasn't really looking forward to because I already feel like I have kind of a tough time with the doc because I just don't like it when you inconveniently <laughs> scream and give away your position or the hallucinations give away your position. Oh, that's the other thing they talked about that they were going to do in the Dr. Cube is that they were thinking of potentially putting out hallucinations of pallets that you would think there's a pallet somewhere that you could run to it and get protection and flip the pallet. And then the closer you would get to that pallet location, you would realize it was just a hallucination and it isn't really there. How messed up would that be as an added hallucination in the game? That would be pretty cool, I think. To think, oh, I'm going for safety, I'm going for the pallet, and then as close as you, you get, it's not there. That's crazy. All right, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you all have a great day. Again, thanks to everybody who's watching the channel and appreciating the content. I love all of you, and I want you all to have a great day. And we will see you next time out in the fall when I'll be actually playing a game. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye.